So I'm here with Cody Somerville, who's the Zubuntu team leader. How, how are you enjoying UDS so far? I'm loving it. It's a great experience. Okay. Is this your first UDS? This is my first UDS, yes. Marvellous. So you come all the way, way from the States to Prague? Not the States. New Brunswick, Canada. Ah, Canada. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, so, what is Zubuntu um, learning from UDS? What's is Ubuntu trying to get out of UDS? So Ubuntu is uh, definitely benefiting from, uh, from UDS. Just today I was in a session regarding the memory usage for the live CD. Um, an issue since 2006 has been that our live CD has been using uh, just too much memory um, and just way over our, our, our target that we'd like to, we'd like to aim for. But uh, some of the new enhancements with the, uh, the kernel team are planning will allow us to reduce um, the required amount of memory and allow us to go back to allowing users with 128 megabytes of RAM to install from the live CD. Okay, that sounds quite interesting. So are you working more with um, the kernel team or are you working with the desktop team when you're here? I'm working with all the teams. Uh, it's, it's definitely a multi-team effort. Um, I'm learning tons from the desktop team, from the kernel team, from the platform team. It's just, it's really awesome to be here and be able to finally meet uh, all these people that I've had a chance to uh, work with and get to know over uh, the IRC email medium. Um, sometimes it can be surprising, but uh, it's always a pleasure for sure. Putting a face to the name, that sort of thing. Exactly. Are there a lot of Zubuntu developers here? I'm the only Zubuntu developer here at the, uh, the, the summit. Okay. But you're, you're making a lot of friends from other releases, I assume. Oh, for, for, for sure. Um, just uh, being able to reinforce some of the friendships that have already been built over uh, IRC and, and Voyop and, uh, and email. It's just a great experience, for sure. Excellent. Okay. So what's coming up for Zubuntu? What's, what can we see from Intrepid? I think that we're going to see some uh, huge changes for Intrepid. I think we're going to see our, the community develop and mature um, in a way that it, it just hasn't been able to do before. Um, we're getting some great help from uh, folks like Jono Bacon, who's just done an amazing job with the Ubuntu community, and we're going to utilize his expertise in bootstrapping the Ubuntu community. Um, in one more technical product uh, point of view, we're going to see the memory footprint for Ubuntu Intrepid significantly lower. Um, since being here at uh, last week, I've been able to uh, pick up some new skills in Foo, and uh, I've been able, particularly Scott. Um, has uh, given me a tutorial on some of the, those memory profiling tools which will allow me to uh, take Subuntu to uh, new heights. Excellent. Um, so is there a new release of XFCE that's going to be in Intrepid as Ubuntu? Yes, this is actually the first time that we're, we're uh, going to be able to give a reasonable guarantee that a new version of XFCE is going to be available for, available for Intrepid. Um, XFCE is moving to a time-based release. Um, they'll be released uh, just a little bit before, uh, before we are. Um, definitely enough time for us to get it in, do the proper testing, and uh, deliver a quality product. Excellent. Does that uh, help the time-based release? Because um, Jonathan Riddell was talking about it for KDE, and they're sort of heading in that direction. How does it help when you're trying to put a distro together to know when the, uh, the, the actual release of the version will take place? Well, users are always looking for uh, something new, and it's always nice to be able to provide that. Um, along with having the, uh, the project on a time-based release as well, we can organize our efforts um, around their schedule to ensure that there's proper testing, um, that uh, we're able to get patches upstream in time, and just it makes the uh, collaboration process so much smoother. Apart from the new version, are there any other extra things you're trying to get into the next release of Ubuntu? Um, for sure. Um, one thing I'm looking at right now is uh, having uh, Samba browsing through through Thunder um, with a quick hack. That's gonna, it's a, a feature that's been requested for some time and, and it looks like we're able to provide uh, some functionality there and it just I feel that that's a feature that's going to improve uh, the desktop experience. Some people have said that XFCE is, is getting uh, quite heavy on the memory usage. Now you've talked about reducing that um, but a lot of people use XFCE and uh, Ubuntu for old machines, uh, because it's got a very or relatively low memory footprint compared with GNOME and KDE. Um, do you think it's true that it's getting a bit bigger, that it's getting a little bit bloated? I think the XFCE project is growing, but I don't think that it's fair to say that it's getting more bloated or it's getting uh, particularly more heavy. I think that uh, some of the heaviness is, is uh, definitely on our part. 
And I think that uh, just by really hitting on it this uh, release cycle and really focusing on it, we're going to be able to uh, you know remove some of that uh, extra weight, extra jibble jibble that we just don't need in uh, in Zubon 2. Um, but uh, XFCE4 um, itself is still very lightweight compared to GNOME. GNOME is making some advancements in that area, but uh, XFCE4 is just uh, light years ahead in that department. And uh, what else are you hoping to get out of the rest of the week, UDS? We're halfway through now. Halfway, f halfway through, yes. Um, there's a lot of sessions that uh, are uh, still planned that I'm, I'm looking, really looking forward to going to, um, particularly just improving the desktop experience, giving it polish. We also have the Zubuntu strategy meeting tomorrow where we're going to uh, go over the strategy document that I've been working on uh, for the last few, few, few weeks. Um, and that's going to be an important uh, document in the Zubuntu community and it's going to allow us to uh, move forward with a, a solid set of goals and focuses and uh, it'll give us a vision. So what's, what's in the strategy document? What, are, what sort of things does it cover? So far in the strategy document I've uh, included all kinds of uh, information that I think is going to be useful for if, it, if someone were to just pick up the Zubuntu project if, for, for whatever reason and uh, they wanted to continue in the same direction that we're currently moving in or we plan to move in for Intrepid, um, how to maintain good relationships with Upstream, Debian and XFCE4, um, how, our release cycle, um, what are the steps, what needs to be done, um, what are our focuses, how do we decide which packages to include, which ones not to. Um, it, it includes quite an extensive package matrix um, that will allow us to give a qualitative analysis uh, to packages and be able to compare that so that we can make the best decision possible when deciding which packages to ship with Zubuntu. Um, so is this something that the Zubuntu sort of community, that the people who work with you on Zubuntu have had uh, an opportunity to contribute to? or Unfortunately it's not a document that uh, anybody's been able to contribute to but myself. Um, the goal is to finish the first draft of the document um, then we're going to be going to the Zubuntu strategy meeting tomorrow and uh, that'll produce a second draft. And then after UDS, there's going to be a, a community meeting on IRC, and that's going to involve the, the entire crowd. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, you know, hit something out that's going to be solid and acceptable by everybody. I think that uh, the, the way that I've written the document and the decisions that I've made um, will be taken well by the community, and we'll be able to uh, use that as a common base and really be able to move forward um, with uh, you know the momentum that we need to create to keep Zubuntu uh, happy, productive, and a, just a great product. It sounds like Zubuntu is really kind of growing up. It's it's coming of age. It needs things like a, a, a document like this, like a charter almost, to say that this is the, the aim of the project. It's got some serious weight now. I think Zubuntu definitely is is growing um, at, at an in very interesting rate too. Um, I think that Zubuntu is an excellent opportunity. Um, for people to get involved in Ubuntu as a whole, to just get involved in open source development. It's just a great opportunity for people to get involved um, overall. And uh, just a, I really enjoy contributing to it. And I've got a lot of positive feedback from not only you know, fellow Ubuntu community members, but also people outside of the direct Ubuntu commu community just praising Zubuntu and XFCE4. It's, it's, it's a nice product, and I, I really enjoy working on it. Excellent. And if people want to get involved, where can they go to find out more? Um, we have a lot of information on our website. We've also just redid our uh, wiki, and I think that includes a, it's a lot more information than it did before, and it's a lot more uh, accessible and a lot more easy to find what you're looking for. You can also join us on the Zubuntu uh, Devil IRC channel on Freenode, and we also have the Zubuntu Devil uh, mailing list as, as well, and that's where a lot of the more serious, prolonged discussion occurs, but uh, on the IRC channel, we get that quick collaboration and ID sharing, and uh, it's just a great place to hang out and you know get a feel for the for the community at large. Cody, thank you very much. Thank you.